Immigration advocates in Colorado say that President Biden's latest policy is even more harsh than what former President Donald Trump did to control the border. They told our Angelie McCall it's effectively a shutdown of the border. New changes at the U.S.-Mexico border will make it almost impossible for asylum seekers, at least for now. Border is essentially closed now and will remain so indefinitely. President Biden announced last week the latest emergency order. If more than 2,500 people cross the border between ports of entry each day for seven days, asylum seekers won't be allowed in. We haven't seen um, down at 2,500 people per day in a long time. Advocates, including Monique Sherman with the Rocky Mountain Immigrant Advocacy Network, says this takes former President Trump's former policies a step further. This policy is actually more harsh than the Title 42 that was um, implemented under Trump. More harsh because it stops people from claiming asylum and immediately places an order of removal on their immigration record. And that means that if they come back, they are subject to criminal penalties and um, probably a five-year ban from entering legally, like with a visa. Sherman says the rule won't stop people from coming. Desperate people are really undeterred by U.S. border policy. What it will do, she worries, is increase ICE detention numbers. While people are will be assumed ineligible for asylum, they still may be eligible for lesser forms of immigration relief and most likely the government will be detaining people while they are um, trying to pursue those forms of relief. Before asylum requests were based on the strength of their claim, now it will automatically make most ineligible. So this policy eliminates all asylum claims pretty much with one exception. That is if people shout out at the border and affirmatively tell Border Patrol agents that they are seeking asylum and that they are afraid to return to their home country. And that is the only way to establish some basis for relief moving forward. But in order to do that, the border agent needs to speak the same language and many immigrants may not know that is the only step they can take if they want to seek an avenue to pursue asylum. Kyle. And it raises this issue, Angelina, that we've talked about before, which is what is the driver of mass migration? Is it U.S. policy or is it conditions in home countries that people choose to flee? And you, perhaps more than any other journalist in Colorado, have talked to people who have fled those conditions in their home country over the last two years. Yes, I've talked with people at the border. I've talked with people in between, uh, you know, here in Denver. And uh, for the most part, many of them hear these terms like Title 42 or that there's new a new rule from President Biden, for instance. But they don't necessarily know, right, what it means or how it kind of um, impacts their lives. So ultimately, they understand that things change and they know uh, the terms and whatnot, but they don't necessarily know the ins and outs. And neither do I, right? Like these are very complex um, immigration issues that, you know, even some lawyers, it takes so many months to, to understand and, and recognize how they can help their clients. Well, appreciate your continued work making us all smarter on it. Angelie McCall, thank you.